to take off their clothes. Time. He, <laughs> <laughs> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Start. Okay. Um, the thing is that William has not previously considered Princess Papaya as one of his candidates for the prom, but now looking at her, he realizes that she is nothing less than smoking hot. Um, and so he offers her a mango lassi. Only to discover when she begins to clutch her neck and gag that the reason that she's called Princess Papaya is because she's allergic to tropical fruits. <laughs> However, um, in the midst of her gagging, she suddenly begins to do something very strange, which is to recite um, the Declaration Stop. of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Brainiac. Start. Tipsy, of course, is upset by all of this, mainly because she was really looking forward to going skinny dipping with William, but also because the boat does leave at noon, and now it's nine o'clock, and Tipsy, who can't do math, thinks they only have an hour and a half to get to the boat. So, immediately grabs William and says, forget about that skank Princess Papaya, we've gotta to get to the boat, because we've gotta we've got get on the transsexual, transvestite, transgender, drag queen boat that's going to Hawaii, because that's where the spy ring is operating. The dance is a red herring. So she grabs Stop. him, Hold it all together. Floundering through the sea. Oh, okay. Uh, Start. So, uh, so William uh, is surprised to find that he's uh, you know, on a lifeboat with the seven uh, girls that he was supposed to be with originally. Interestingly, their names are Sneezy, Wheezy, <laughs> Leezy, Easy, and Sleazy. <laughs> And uh, so uh, they're, they, uh, it's very hot out there, so they have to undress. So when Sleazy starts to take off her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs> 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 start. So just at that moment, a lot of other people start coming out of the sea besides <laughs> Adolphus. And William realizes that they all look a little pale and creepy and sort of like their limbs are about to fall off and they stink and they're all swimming toward the ship. So he's like, oh my god, we're being attacked by zombies. Sleazy, easy, cheesy, whatever you <laughs> girls' names are. We've got to row back to shore and escape and warn everyone on land. We've just got to do this. So they all start paddling and being pursued by the zombies. Stop, and, time. Uh, <laughs> Parents walk in at the wrong moment. <laughs> Start. Um, so they all get to the beach and there are these zombies and it's an awful moment and, and Sneezy says, wait, I have, I have it, I have the answer. My father is a plastic surgeon and he's working on some zombie plastic surgery procedures <laughs> and so maybe we ought to just go straight there. So Tipsy, who is with Sleazy and everyone else, says this is a great <laughs> idea. They get onto the back of a Harley Davidson motorcycle that just happens to be their keys in and everything. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so true. Best weekend ever. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, start. And they like fire up the Harley, and like there's you know, all nine of them are just balanced on there. And the zombies <laughs> just like they're coming fast and furious behind them, but they're roaring. Tipsy's got their hurricane, like and they're just like heading for wait, I can't remember whose house, Sneezy's house, where there's this uh, ad hoc, you know, surgery place. 
is in the backyard in the garden shed, and she just knows they're going to be able to solve it. And uh, on the back of the bike is William, and he just puts his hands up because he's like, best weekend ever! <laughs> Time. <laughs> Sneezy says, I want you to meet my mother, Dr. Adeline Lindblom. And Adeline comes forward and she says, look at all of my equipment here. What we need is one zombie who we can start with because they want to do the, the surgery. And so they get a zombie volunteer. Um, and they bring the zombie volunteer in and they lie down on the table and first they thumb through the book to see like what kind of faces uh, Adeline has made before with the zombies. And she's done some beautiful work. Time. <laughs> Start. So one of the faces happens to be Bianca Jagger. <laughs>